Welcome to Apex Esports League V8 Supercar Championship for Project Cars 2 on the PS4. Tonight we have round 3 of the 5 round series for the V8 Supercars and the track tonight is Long Beach Street Circuit and the main race tonight does go under light so it will be visually spectacular as well as some fierce racing being found seen tonight. Our session tonight we have our usual two race setup. Our first session we head off into 15 minutes of practice, weather is clear. Qualifying is 15 minutes, weather is clear. And then we head into the sprint race which is 13 laps, weather is light cloud. There's no mandatory pit. We'll have about a 10 minute break and then head back into session two which will have a 15 minute qualifier and then head off into the main race which is 25 laps and then the weather for the qualifying and the main race is clear. And then of course that is 20, sorry, 8, 8 p.m. game session time. So it'll be nice and dark with plenty of walls and it'll be a very exciting race. And of course there is a mandatory pit. So we had a leadership change in uh, starting after round two. We had Sami Charge ahead of Weaven Triple Seven, so narrowly taking the lead for the championship so he's now leading with 165 points and Weaven falling behind in with 157 points. It's tied for third position with Corby 387 and Demon FX and they're both sitting on 141 points and not too far behind is Ez Anomal and D Train with 134 points and 130 points respectively. So last week in the sprint race we saw Ez Anomal take the victory and then Azuro take victory in the main race. So we are heading over into pit lane now. We have a nice size grid. We should hopefully get someone else join uh, later on during the qualifying session. So we are expecting a full grid. It'll be very exciting. Having 16 of these cars going for it. And Gallon cruises on ahead of DG in, in pit lane. It is a very dangerous pit straight, that pit exit, as we saw also being the case in Rapuna Park for round two last week. The pit exit line is right on the end of the pit straight, so it is actually part of the racing line and the cars are flying at that point and heavy on the brakes, so we could potentially see some accidents occurring at that pit exit. Had a new addition to the series for this season. That's Dark Side six, seven, eight, nine. The DG. So if, I'm not sure. Actually, that might have been Bertie swerving in towards his car there. So Dark Sider isn't new to Apex Esports League. Not sure what's going on with his car at the moment. He's just parked. Uh, he's in pit lane. He has actually gotten moving. No debuts tonight. They're all regular races with Apex Esports League. It's been a while since Darkside has been able to join us, so it's good to be able to see him back out on track with us. Whacked Will also being able to make it for tonight's round. We're expecting him to see him in the last couple of races, but he hasn't been able to make it. So it's good that he can join us for round three. That was a very narrow escape. I think that may have been Corby's car. Yeah, I think he's overrun, so we can hear him getting that car turning back around. If you're joining us for the stream, don't forget to hit that follow button if you haven't done so yet. We appreciate the support. If you can try and help Apex Esports League grow, and then that way you will be notified when we do go live for all of our events. We do broadcast every Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. Bertie's wrapping up the first lap out, so this will be his first hot lap. And Weaven777 was leading the championship, but didn't have a very strong result last week. So he did actually end up taking his PlayStation whilst on a holiday to be able to actually still compete in the race. He's doing that from a caravan on a table that kept moving on him so he 
wasn't in great form for last week. We did get some points on the board, which in the end of being able to maintain enough points to not give the lead too far away to Sami. It's good to see Sami get up on top of that board. We've seen him have some good cracks at being able to earn some good points in some of the races, but tend to get tied up in some incidents and face some bad luck, usually seeing him have to retire and not finish so strongly. And he's been doing some very consistent driving this series. All the best to Sami to have another strong result tonight. Nazuri has come through for the quickest time so far. It's a pretty quick first time out there, a 115.738. Seeing a fair few 118s. Oh, Corby's just come in with a 115.710. He's very tight indeed. When you join us for the stream too, don't forget there are a wide variety of sound effect controls down underneath the stream. I'm not sure if you have access to it if you're doing it from a mobile device, but I'm pretty sure it is there if you're doing it from the desktop. So that will play the sound effects over the stream. Don't forget to say hello and let us know who you think is going to take a pole position and who's going to win each race. It's a very tight line, Corby and a zero are fighting in this practice session already. Some gloves are off and already fierce racing commencing only in the practice session. This is going to be a very exciting race tonight. Ah, Z-Loop. Yes, sorry, didn't see that. So race one will start. Uh, we've got 15 minute practice. We've got another nine and a half minutes remaining. And then we've got 15 minutes of qualifying. And then the race will start. at about 25 minutes before race one starts. And as a normal, having a beautiful sprint race last week, she qualified fourth position and then end up taking the top of the podium. And in that race, the fastest lap was Demon FX and if you did miss that, was it Rapuna Park in New Zealand? And then in the main race, as a normal, after qualifying 7th, finishing 6th, then did get the fastest laps, scoring some bonus points for the fastest lap in the main race. D-Train is currently coming 5th in the championship with 130 points. D-Train, I don't think. So in the sprint race, D-Train after qualifying 10th position end up coming 5th in the sprint race. And not so strong in the main race, he ended up qualifying 8th and then finishing in 9th position. D-Train will have to have Demon FX, Corby and as a normal in his sights. They will be his next ones to take down a peg from the standings. bit of damage being shown on some cars already so there's lots of walls that is going to cause all sorts of issues around this track it is very unforgiving on his birdie that's just gone for a slide and Sami's come through with the quickest time now 115387 we have the first four cars with 115s DG's doing well with a 118936 Making our way through and familiar ourselves with the drivers. Simo Simzel come through 125. Let's see how he goes wrapping up this lap if that's going to be a quicker time for him. Okay, 125. Take a dog. Make through for 137.6. Pit 
Pit Lane now, so he's back out for another outlap. A little bit slippery coming out of Pit Lane. Jump on board with Sami for a lap, I think. Going our championship leader. Find out whereabouts he is. Yes, we're coming up almost a lap with him. Whacked Will has managed to get a penalty as well. So some excessive speeding in the practice will also give a grid place penalty, the same as happening in the qualifying. That's unfortunate for Whacked Will. And on board for a lap around the California track. It's Long Beach Street Circuit in the USA, California. And then the car's coming out into that pit exit line. So that light yellow line is where they have to come all the way out. They basically have to come straight out and turn out of that very sharply. So it'll be a dangerous corner. Very dangerous wall there. You can, if you hit that curve, you can tend to find yourself being bounced into that wall. And then you'll get this wall nice and wide. A little bit of lag going on. Oh, he's spun around. That's unfortunate. He's brought that back into the pits. Let's see who we can sit on board for a lap. I think that's Corby. We want to be able to see the track layout. Hopefully it's a okay lap with Corby. It won't be as quick. It's coming out of the pits. We will see. Actually, what the grid place penalty would have been is actually so you can see what I was mentioning there, that you have to do follow that line all the way down. If you cross that line early, you will be penalised. You can find yourself receiving time infringement penalties or grid place penalties. And I think when Whacked Will did actually lose the traction coming out of the pits, that's what occurred. Hopefully some better luck on board with Corby. Corby's trying to get some warmth into these tyres. Nice fast corner here, you can take the car right out to this wall before darting back across for the left hand wall. A nice wide entrance coming into there allows a very quick corner. It is also dangerous coming out into that wall. Another quicker corner here, you need to be careful not to undercut that curb. And then the curb here can be very slippery and the cars tend to want to slide a fair bit. dreaded last turn, that hairpin is very difficult to get that car around and then some very fast pit straight and this off camp bend is actually quite slippery in these cars still, you can find some issues and this is where we're seeing potential issues occurring oh we just had run off, I think that was Gallon running off I think he was avoiding the position so Corby could have that racing line there's another driver that's now also copped a grid place penalty. Whacked Wheel and Simo Simzel now wearing a one grid place penalty. Who have we not had a look at? Gallon 350 sporting some visual damage there. I think it was him that we just saw coming out of the pits. Let us know who you think is going to get pole position tonight. There's some very tight times with Sami, Demon FX, Azuro, Corby, Dark Sider all in the 115s. Then we have Ezra, Normal, and Gallon in the 116s. Followed by Weaven, DG, Mickcliff, Coco Dog, and D Train in the 117s. Bertie and Whacked Will are in the 118s. Simo Simzel hasn't been able to rein in a stronger time yet. He's still sitting with a 125. Hopefully, can shave some of those times off. But so far, for 14 cars to only be separated by 30 seconds is very tight, especially on this track. And it can all change if, in a blink of an eye, at this track it is very brutal. Cliff is going down pit lane and it is a very long pit lane. 
we're going to be seeing some very lengthy lap times for the pit laps. Having an effective pit strategy is going to be key to winning the main race tonight, especially with it being under lights. They're going to have to ensure they start getting some different braking markers. And then visualising those, they do recall them in the dark conditions. The track is fairly well lighted. Has a lot of pretty lights on the outside. Make it look very, very lovely as they are flying past. Azura has come through with the quickest time now, so it's a 115.188. Corby with the 115.287, it's only 0.098 of the difference between the two. That is very tight indeed. And only another 100 of the second is Sami. Um, he's really pushing the pace of his car. I was going to say he's almost going to overshoot that corner. He's really digging in to try and reclaim the quickest time here but from the looks of things. I don't think there hasn't been a car that hasn't shown some visual damage. Oh, unfortunately, it's that same corner I think we saw from Sami before. He's going to need to try and perfect that corner so he can have a strong result here tonight. Demon Effects and Ezra Normal both have the exact same time. We've seen it a few times now. I think Demon Effects just went across the line just as it was actually finishing. So I think that may be an AI driving for him now. So practice is complete, there is 60 seconds remaining, and then we'll be heading off into the 15 minutes of qualifying. Yeah, the hassle that's going, that would be an AI driving that car now. I'm not sure if that car was slipping out a little bit, or if that was some lag. I'm pretty sure Bertie does use a controller still for this game. Over the sharper little turns you tend to see. <coughs> Usually the adjustments for controller driving. And then we have the practice results with a 0, 143 coming in with the quickest time. 114.780. So his last lap breaking that 115 mark. That is a very quick time indeed. So we head off into 15 minutes of qualifying now. And as you can see on the standings board there, Whacked Will and Simo Simzel have got a red number. So that's indicating the one good place penalty that they received in the practice session. Oh, a little bit of lag going on. That's all the cars are taking off. Connection issues for Gallant. It's had a disconnect the other week. Not sure what's, uh, what's going on with that car. Cars are heading out. Ready for their qualifying session. We have a few remain behind. Hopefully we should see Kakadu join in later on. They join in the last few moments of the qualifying session. As long as he can get in within the last five minutes, we'll be able to see him start at the first race. Excited is in the Vazmac black and white car number one. Dark Sider is quite a good driver in these V8 supercars. Will be one to watch out for tonight. But all our drivers in this series are very competent races. It's been some great racing from all our drivers. Drivers heading on to their first hot laps. Some statistics. D-trains 
averaging about 33 points per race. Ooh, and a little bit of close racing from some cars. That's Bertie just moving out of the way for these guys out on their hot lap. D-Train, and as I've mentioned in previous rounds, drivers will need to be aware of who is actually driving in their matching team colours, as they will actually share a pit box when it comes to mandatory pits, if they decide to pit at the same time, they could actually see themselves waiting for an extended period of time as the other car finishes up in the store before you can actually get in there and start. There's a few cars that don't actually have any team colours that won't have that, so that is Bertie, Gallon and Weaven, I think. And also Simo Simzor, I'm pretty sure. First time's coming on the board, a 115.036 already for the first time. Darkside is setting a 115.891, that is already a very tight difference all on those demon effects just held off to the side to allow weave and crew but will a zero be able to come through with another 114 that we saw in the practice session oh he's made some more contact and i don't think it's going to affect his car and i don't think it's cancelled his lap Sometimes I can also, yeah, must have cancelled his lap. So he's brought that car in. The Dark Sider is second quickest out there so far after 115.891, followed by Sami. Oh, where well, we've just switched back to him is where we saw him struggling before. It looked like he was hugging that wall then. Oh, and he's just made some heavy contact to the tyre wall. I think that was as a normal coming in behind him that then just went to make some wall contact as well. No, it must have been Corby. He's, he's brought that car in as well. That's Corby, and that is where we just saw Sami make contact with those tyres. There is no room for mistake. A small mistake will see a critical end to the race for yourself. The damage settings for our series are only set to performance impacting. There's no mechanical failures, so you can't kill the car completely. It can be extremely difficult to get it back around to pit lane, but you can at least get it there, get it fixed, and then head back out on track to be able to at least finish the race. Nice. Touch incidents would actually the race ending and require retiring as you can lose wheels and the lights or even blow engines. Demon FX has now come through with a 115.395, so he's only 0.359 off the pace from a zero at this stage. You know, Simsel and Whacked Will are going to try have to try and get a stronger time to finish in this session so that they can wear that one grid place penalty. Otherwise they could potentially see themselves starting from the back of the grid. So, very similar times. It'll be interesting to see if Azura can break that 114 mark again. He's not far off it. 0.036 from that 114 section. He's come through for 127. Whacked Wheel has come through for 119.7. Second behind Coca Dog. Whacked Will can shave off another second. You'll be able to at least 
Chase be able to recover another position. And Gallon has now moved up into fourth position. Sasami's being pushed down the line a fair bit in qualifying now. Oh, that is very quick by Gallon. He almost saw the wall make contact with the front of that car. The same as we switch to Sami at one stage. Oh, and the car's up on two wheels. Gallon's really pushing this car at the moment. You can see Azura in the background there closing in on him as well. If he can try and close that gap, this could be an opportunity for Azura to be able to get a very quick lap. Well, he did actually have to make a correction back there. Otherwise, it will be a good run on into the next lap. Data up as well. Don't forget when you join for the stream, be sure to hit that follow button. We appreciate the support. 30, 10, 35 currently in seventh position. So it's just under six and a half minutes remaining of qualifying. Thirty is just being bumped down a position. A bit of movement happening in these last couple of laps. Okay, Dodd's moved up. Oh, and he's just made wall contacts. This lap's probably not going to count. The game will usually allow for a few, one or two minor wall scrapes before it invalidates the qualifying lap. But a much harder hit or repeated soft hits will actually invalidate that lap and then start actually taking damage on the car as well. It's something they have to be quite cautious of. Let's give them a flash of the lights. He's doing very well with 117. I'm not sure if that was Colby or is a normal just moving out of the way. It looks like a pretty good lap for Coco Dog. So tailing up. I think that was an improvement for Coco Dog actually. I guess that was his quickest lap. It didn't get him a position, but it was the quickest lap. And yes, we just had a zero come through his last lap with 114.834. Blisteringly destroyed through into that 114 mark. Is he going to have better pace here? No, it doesn't improve. That is a very quick lap. 114.834. So I can keep that pace and get a good start to the race from starting in position one. He should be able to escape potential incident and actually climb ahead and wrap up the race. Which we've seen a zero do in the past. Driving style much was throughout the Formula Rookie Championship. It looks like Smo Simsel in the background there having some issues with that car. Not sure if he's taken damage. There's not much difference between these times. So we saw some 125s, some whack wheel. Was a little bit off pace last time. He's got that down to 117. Semo Simsel with a 119. There is not much difference in these times. This is some very consistent times being set by the entire field. Oh, and Sami's come back up into position two. He's dug deep and reclaimed some positions. We're seeing him slowly move down the standings board for the qualifying having Demon Effects, Dark Sider and Gallant and even Corby bumping him down so he's reclaimed that there's not much between him and Demon Effects it's 0 0.4548.561 so that is very tight times between those two these three 
three last week at Rapuna Park that were all at the, towards the front end. And then also as a normal. As a normal is currently coming in 10th position. So Wackwell and Semo Sims will have been bumped down. And they do have that grid place penalty. So they are going to have to try and see if they can shave some more time off to try and compensate for that grid place penalty. It's a very Shot there. some very weird camera angles from this game sometimes. So coming up to wrap up this lap. There's two minutes remaining of qualifying. Let's see Simo can improve this. Looks like he's a little bit off the pace coming down pit straight. That's not an improvement. Brought that car in, and he's gonna have to be quick to be able to get out there and have another good hot lap. So we've got to get this car around in time before the countdown for this session ends, and then they should have enough time just to finish in one more lap. So far, it looks like our position number one starter is a zero, so he'll be starting from pole. Demon FX has bumped Sami down another spot as well, so Sami's now been pushed back down into third. These guys are really fighting for qualifying position. There's one minute remaining. It'll be enough time for these guys to get one more lap in now before the qualifying session completes. Let's improve that. Hopefully, Sami can. Get a good strong lap out of this. This is going to be his last shot to try and reclaim that position back from Demon Effects. Demon Effects has brought that car into the pits. It's very tight. Gallant's just started another lap. He's going to have enough time to be able to have this lap count. Oh, almost some wall contact, this could have been costly. Oh, and a little bit of slip, that's probably not going to be the best lap for Gallant. Darkseid has been pushed down a fair bit now. He's down being pushed down into fifth position. We did see him up into second position. He's bringing that car in as well. Obviously wasn't happy with that final lap. But unfortunately, we haven't had Kakadu join in. May catch him for session two. We'll be having 15 cars starting for the sprint race. The one short of a full grid will be nice. First couple of laps are going to be very tight, especially turn one and two. It is always very interesting. There is not a lot of room for that corner. For this lap, I wonder if he can shave in his as a normal wrapping up this lap. Oh, he's just moved up into fifth position, so he was sitting in about tenth position. So he just climbed five positions. Well done to as a normal. Oh, Corby went out a little wide through that corner. And Corby just jumps up into third position as well. Another last lap, taking many positions on the board. And then we have the results for the qualifying for race one. We have a 0143 starting in pole position with a 114834, followed by Demon FX, Corby 387, Sami, Gallon 350, as a normal, Darksider, Coco Dog, Mick Cliff, Weaven, Bertie, D Train, Barbado, DG, Whacked Wheel with two grid places, so that means he now drops down into 15th position and Simo Simzel will move up into 14th position. So both of them wearing a grid place penalty, so unfortunate for those guys having copped at those penalties. But we'll be heading off into the race now. All right, we've got a couple of minutes to get organized ready for race one.
Hopefully all drivers get ready in time for the race. Last week we had Kakadu join in and it looked like he didn't make it in time and it dropped out. You can see those cars dipping down as they're adjusting their settings. to make sure they've changed their setups over into the race setups, make sure they've got enough fuel to get those laps done. We did see Sami have to actually pit in earlier in the championship where he did actually forget to change that fuel load from the qualifying. Started with a very light load and had to head into the pits after lap one to get that fuel to ensure he could actually finish the race. And that cost him a fair few positions. Drivers have hit that ready button. Will be good to have this game sync up and have the lights count down to the start of race one for round three. There we go. We are getting ready to start. Count down. Nudging forward by Corby, and then off away a delayed start. The end after Corby was nudging that car, so that just walked Gallon as he gets away at the grid. And Azura has managed to get ahead quite quickly, so we have Sami now actually recover up into second position. Demon Effects has now slipped back into fourth. Azura gets through turn one quite cleanly. Managed to stay away from these guys, a very nice tidy line. It looks like a reasonably clean start throughout the field. We have Corby sitting right on the tail of Sami at the moment. Dark side and just, just rounding up behind those guys. Ten second difference between the entire field, so it looks like we may have escaped incident three for the start, so that would be nice. This track is usually not one for being incident three in the first lap, that is for sure. So if we have managed to be able to do that, that would be spectacular. to try and get a spot. Oh, there's been a slip by Corby. That's just cost him a position. So Demon Effects now manages to... Wants to catch him. We weren't even looking at him then. But he's managed to reclaim a position away from him. So someone's just darted off into the pits. I think that may be as a normal. He's now in the pits. I'm not sure what's going on. So has Mick Cliff as well. I'm not sure if these guys have got damage or if they're serving a penalty. Back to them very shortly. Black Will has gone in as well. And he's just received a time second penalty as well, so he's probably just sped through the pits. We have Sami in second position, and Azuro is sneaking ahead quite quickly. So I'll say, with the way he races, if he can get that pace that we saw in the qualifying sessions, if he can get ahead of these guys and continue that pace have this race in the bag. I don't think he's going to be getting away too cleanly just yet with Sami and Demon Effects still not too far behind them. Oh, it's a mistake I think by Sami. I may have been very close contact with that wall. It doesn't look like there's been a scrape that was very tight. Ooh, and I think Azuro has actually scraped that wall on the exit of the hairpin. Cost him a little bit of time. We did see about a 1.7 second lead that's now changed to 1.4. These guys starting to separate a little bit. Darksider is alongside Corby. Corby then tucks in. So Darksider has now taken a position. He's moved up into fourth. We did see Corby lose that position before by that mistake of spinning out, allowing Demon and Sami to be able to get around him. There is a bit of traffic going on at the moment. The cars are already being lapped after they've had to head off into the pits on the lap one. I'm not sure if they were serving a jump start. And there's been a drop.
drive through penalty, I'm not sure. Unless they were involved in the incident on lap one. Barney is chasing down demon effects. going on. I think there was a little bit of lag going on from Demon's car. It looked like he slipped through that corner, but then it recovered. The whacked wheel moving aside for all the cars. And when you are actually coming up to some cars, some lap, having the traffic here, it's very difficult to wait for someone to actually get around to actually moving out of the way as there's not too many spots to actually be able to safely get around. You've got to sort of wait for some of these very tight turns and then get out onto the straights before you can make that safe pass for any of the back markers. If you're joining us for that stream, don't forget to hit that follow button. So let us know who you think is going to win this race. Will Azuro manage to keep this lead that he has already set? So we're now lap 4 of 13. Azuro is leading by 2.6 seconds. He has a strong advantage of not having any slipstream being left behind him for the others to catch up on. If he can keep this pace, especially the last lap set being a 116.346. Demon effects having set at 116.466. Oh, and we've just had a zero's lap then. 115.973, where the following two cars are in the 116s. He is pulling away very quickly. If he can keep this consistency up, this race will be his. Sami isn't giving up on trying to get that position to back away from Demon effects. Demon effects is having a hard time trying to keep Sami at bay. We'll be probably checking that mirror a fair bit just to see where Sami is. It looks like Sami may be slipping back just a little bit. Trying to chase down Darksider. Make our way through the field. Coca Dog sitting up in six positions, doing very well. Big train. Looks to have taken a few scrapes. The same as Gallon's car is also looking like he's taken a fair bit of front end damage. So he's got a buckle on it. We have 30. Currently in ninth position. Simo Simzel is sitting not too far behind him. He's doing well in 10th position and he did start from position 14. And he did have that grid place penalty. Raven stays back down in 11th position, not having too much of a time. Oh, DJ's just made contact in the hairpin. It looks like weaven has got some heavy rear damage. There's a fair few scrapes as well as some markings on that front. So all drivers looking like having, we can't even get a camera shot on one of these cars. The cliff is showing a bit of damage, but that's probably being fixed though. Once the cars do actually head back into the pits and get it fixed, we'll just keep that damage actually looking like it. But Sami has just managed to get ahead of Demon Effects. Looked like Demon Effects was um, riding by a slowdown side and shaved off that speed along that straight as we crossed over. It's taking a time second penalty here could potentially cost him a position anyway so he might as well give up that little bit of speed and then tuck back in behind Sami and then look for another opportunity to pass. Sami is really flying ahead of Demon at the moment. Last lap set was a 116.866 by Sami. Demon effects was a 119, so three seconds off his pace from the previous lap. Darkseid has just had to head into the pits. Did you just see him ahead of Corby? So Corby's now moved up into fourth position. After Darkseid having really taken some damage, once I can bring him up. He's taken a fairly big hit, so he's heading in for some repairs. 
Starting to split apart. And he's lap 7 of 13. Hopefully, there hasn't been any incidents other than just driver error and making their own contact into the walls. We need to recover a few positions. Where he is qualified from. Make sure he dropped a few spots so he may have been. Up in a bit of an incident from the look of his car. He hasn't been into the pits, but he's looking rather beaten up. And for Sami in furthering the lead in the championship, with Weaven being second and only just being behind by eight points, that is a good opportunity for Sami to try and further the lead on the championship. His next contenders are Corby and Demon FX. And then Demon FX and Corby are both tailing behind him. Sami so needs to ensure he finishes ahead of these two guys. And then that will be a good lead on championship points. But there was 20 points up for grabs for a pole position. I managed to secure those points and then the sprint race is worth 30 points and the main race tonight for a victory is worth 60 points so it is double that of the sprint race and there is also fastest lap bonus points so an extra five points to the driver who sets the fastest lap of the race who is currently be holding that Weaven's recovered a couple of positions now. He's looking and taking on Gallon at this stage. Oh, and Simo Simsel is also tucked right in behind. I think that whacked Will is just behind these guys. They are all contesting for position 7 here. Simo has just fallen back a fair bit. Weaven's going to be looking and trying to make a move on Gallon. Very good pace. Ooh, Weaven came in a lot quicker and just scrapes that wall on the corner exit. Taking out the mirror. Oh, it was a hard hit in the background by Simo. Oh, that is tight by Weaven. He was right up the tail of Gallon and then swings that out and around. Gallon tucks back in behind Weaven, ready to take on the next corner. Can do a double take on him. A little bit of slip by Gallon. He's just lost that momentum that he had to follow on from Weaven. Weaven will now be trying to move up and look at taking on Dirty. So there's still four laps remaining for these guys. A zero out race leader is now currently on lap 10. Sami off in the distance, so we have a zero leading by nearly four seconds. Last lap set was a 117.032. Sami had come through for 117.254. He's done rather well to try and keep that pace. He has brought that lead gap just down a little bit. Might be hard to try and bring it in enough to get an opportunity to have a crack at a zero in three laps at this rate. However, for Sami, he is pretty safe in that position as Demon FX is another five seconds behind him. So unless a significant error occurs for Sami, he should be pretty safe in position two. A small mistake, he probably has time to be able to recover and get going. Demon effects will be catching up on him. That's the same for Demon effects as well. Corby's at the says minute behind. There's some weird times on now, so I'm updating perhaps. It's Corby, there we go. So it's about another five seconds between Corby and Demon effects. I think that's Mick Cliff there at the moment. Uh, there may have been D Train actually. 
that was D train moving out of the way for Corby to get around. D train currently in 15th position, so being a lap, we did see him have to peel off into the pits. has caught back up on Waven. Waven's dropped a couple of positions again, so mistakes being made. Oh, there's contact coming into turn one. Uh, there was a long side for Simo Simzel. Not sure who had climbed to the apex there. I think it may have been Simo, and then Waven got caught up in that. That's cost him, yeah, he's got a fair bit of damage to that car, that front bar has gone and the bonnet is rather damaged. There's be some suspension damage going on. Oh, it looks like Gallon's just had an incident as well. He's just lost that wing. He's missing the rear half of his car. Not sure if another car's involved, but he's have oh he's just rolled the car, he's having trouble, that's almost gone over the barricades. He's going to have to reset that car. That is unfortunate for Gallon. That's a big incident for Gallon's car. Be an interesting replay just to see what was going on there and then to also look back at that pass Simo made on Weaven. What's now lap 12. Zero is leading by nearly six seconds. He's about to wrap up coming on to lap 13. traction loss as he comes out of that hairpin. He's pretty safe with this now, so white flag being shown in his last lap. I think that this race is Azuros. Sami is looking pretty good for second position. Demon Effects has closed that gap in on him a little bit by four seconds. And that's Darksider tucking in behind him and he is a lap down as well, but he's still keeping pace, if not even being quicker than Demon Effects at this stage. Damn, so Darkseid are looking to try and reclaim a lap, but it's not going to be enough to get him too far. Darkseid is currently coming 11th. Now, I'm not sure if he's just parked that car, I think he's parked the car up, it's just too undrivable. He's moved that car out of the way and that's okay. It's a safe spot. And then Zero wraps up coming on to pit straight to finish the race for station one. A flash of the lights is about to cross the line and he has won race one for round three. Congratulations to Azuro and also to Sami. He's slowing right down. He's gonna have to be cautious. Oh he's given the position up. He's just lost a position by stopping for a burnout across the line. Not sure what he was doing there with Demon Effects. Demon Effects has just reclaimed position too. I mean, must have been aware of the time difference between. So we've had Corby wrap up in fourth position. Well done to Corby. Coco Dog comes in fifth position. We've lost two cars on the grid. Not sure if they've retired. 30 is coming up in 6th position. On approach now, and just behind him is there's a normal as well. One to 30 coming up in 6th position. 36 seconds remain as a normal comes across the line in 7th. The cliff coming up in 8th position. FX is in the pits now too, strangely. So. Simo comes across the line in ninth position. So looks like Weaven and Gallon have head into the pits. Well, Gallon's actually left the session, so not sure what's going on. Then we have the result for race one of round three. A 0 -143 taking the top of the podium in first position. Demon FX in position two, stealing it from Sami. We'll see he does a burnout at the finish line. Not sure if he was giving that position up to him for some reason, but um, 
interesting to find out in the lobby when I talk to these guys. But also on the podium is Sami in third position, followed by Corby, Coco Dog, Bertie, as a normal Mick Cliff, Simo Simpson, Darksider, Whacked Will, DG, D Train, and Weaven. And we seem to have lost Gallant 350, so hopefully he can make it back for the next section. Not sure what happened to him with it, and we even had to retire after that incident as well. So, if you haven't done so yet, be sure to head over to our Facebook page link so you can actually keep up to date with our incident reports as well. So, that we'll have the results of what may have occurred once we review that in the coming days. So, we'll be heading off for about a 10 minute break now, and then we'll be heading into session two. It'll be 15 minutes qualifying, and then have a the main race which is under lights it'll be very exciting to watch so stay tuned and we'll be back shortly
and we are back for session two of round three of the V8 Supercars Championship. And of course we are at Long Beach Street Circuit. If you didn't join us for session one tonight, we're heading over into 15 minutes of qualifying. Weather is clear, game time is 7pm. Track length for Long Beach Street Circuit is 3.86 kilometres with 11 turns. We saw a fair few incidents occurring in those last few laps of race one, which will make an interesting review on those replays just to see what went on. But with this track, it is rather fatiguing and very prone to driver error. And especially, we'll probably see that over the course of 25 laps. Session time is 7 pm. This is just after sundown. Be a very pretty sight around the track. We have a zero, have a spectacular drive for race one. See that sun going down off in the background. Don't forget to make yourself known in the chat. I can see your chat messages. Don't forget to use those sound effect controls to have some fun with the stream. Various phrases and sound effects you can cheer, boo, clap, and have some fun with the stream. And of course, don't forget if you haven't done so yet, hit that follow button. Appreciate the support. Drivers out their lights on. There's a fair bit of track lighting around which is okay. As I was just mentioning with the drivers they take some front end damage they will damage their lights. It could be a slight disadvantage. Looks like a traffic cone taken out already on that section of track. Yet. Lost Gallon 350 at the end of the race after a spectacular crash of Gallon's car. Yeah, the damage from the looks of things causing that flip that we did see. So it's unfortunate for Gallon as he was in for a very good race for most of it until that back section. Game session time is accelerated by times two, meaning the 15 minute qualifying will actually see about half an hour of uh, simulated time go through. So it'll end up being 7.30 pm at the end of qualifying. It will get darker and track temperatures will drop as it goes on. First time's coming through a zero, setting a 115.920. The championship a zero is coming at seventh, 94 points. We did end up taking a penalty last week's round for a no redress penalty between him and Demon Effects has set him back on the standings board for all that instance. We're having a good result in race one tonight. We'll accumulate some points back towards that championship ladder. Sami lost that position to right at the finish line, pulling up to do a burnout across the line. Mentioning, I wonder if he was actually giving that position back to Demon Effects or if there was some contact to him that he was addressing. But he thought he had a lot more time between him and Demon Effects, so he thought he'd had ample time to help get that burnout and get across the line in time. But Demon Effects did come flying up along and steal that position away. We just had a car join, so Kakadu has made it in made it for session two and we 
we are missing gallon 350, so we would have almost been able to have that full grid. Gallon did actually disconnect. A little bit of lag going on. Gallon's rejoined. So we have a full grid. This will be a very interesting race. 16 cars around Long Beach is going to be spectacular with the fierce racing we saw from just 13 laps. It's going to be very good 25 laps around here at 9. As you can see down below the bottom of the stream we have our social media links. There is our Facebook page. You don't need to have Facebook to actually head over and actually view all that. It's all set to public. We will post all our results and standings and incident reports. So you can see all those um, that information and if you are interested in joining any of our events you can actually then follow through to our Facebook group there are all our drivers uh, we have all the event details so that we can organize and get sorted for these events in the background if you're just a fan of Apex Esports League wanting to see oh, disconnection by Gallon again he's having some tech issues it's unfortunate for Gallon. Hopefully, you can get those tech issues sorted out before the last five minutes of qualifying. He's got about three minutes to try and get it going. Oh, that is very broad by a zero. He manages to reclaim that, but he brings that car back in. He's still come through for 115.920. Sami is tailing in behind. Oh, another big spill there as well. That was the same spot we just saw a zero get up on two wheels and make some more contact. Drivers are going to be probably experiencing a fair bit of slipperiness out on the track. Weather conditions are clear, but being 7 pm, track temperatures are going to be low. I wouldn't be surprised if the drivers had been running hard compound slicks in the sprint race. They do tend to take a fair bit of a thrashing around this very technical street track. By about the 15 mark, the tire, 15 lap mark, the tires. If you're running all softs, they are usually quite well and truly worn down on this track. Ooh, very broad. First and normal, getting up on two wheels as well. For opening laps of a 115.648, that's a very good pace. Possibly, ooh, I think that was a zero way down the back. Is, is that, I'm not sure, no, it wasn't a zero. Someone had taken a big hit. So it's unlikely we'll see probably a 114 mark like we saw a zero set in race, sorry, the first session. But a very quick 115 is probably quite likely. So don't forget to let us know in the chat who you think is going to take pole position. We're having Zero, Sami, Demon Effects and Corby all doing some strong qualifying results already, just as we saw in session one tonight. Still for 115. Catch up to Sami, Sami's just come around turn 11. Improve his time. That's not an improvement. We're not seeing any place penalties yet. Drivers usually, if they haven't done a lot of practice on this track, tend to find the pit exit a little bit confusing. It is a very long pit exit and it almost looks like you go off into the runoff section from turn one. And then in these cars, since you can't actually look into the corner, you're just looking out that very limited tunnel vision of the windscreen trying to start turning in you think you're actually going to turn into the wall of that runoff that's why a lot of drivers tend to actually cross that line quite early 
zero is reclaim that position one. As Anomalous brought that car in to make some more adjustments to see what he can get out of that car. We can have another crack at stealing away pole position from Azuro. With the slip going on for Sami, he's really pushing this car. He can almost drift the car around those corners. Very nice line. This could be a very quick car. Oh, I think Jack Owens rejoined. That time, Sun is currently sitting in third. Oh, not anymore. Demon Effects has come through for flying 115.882, pushing Sami down. Oh, Sami's been pushed down again, and so has Demon Effects. Dark Side has just crossed the line with a 115.834. That is very tight. to prove me wrong here and managed to pull another 114. Oh, big hit. Gallon's rejoined. That's good. A bit of a lag spike. I don't know if that's what caused it for Darksider. Usually all drivers experience a tiny little bit of a lag spike as a car joins. So we're looking to reclaim that position one. Better connection and things going on for him now. He's only just gotten in in time. A disconnect now will not see him get to start the race. There's only three and a half minutes remaining of qualifying. Hopefully he can last out. Hopefully the race can also last. He's really trying to get some heat into these tyres. He's not going to have as many laps as the rest of these guys to try and get a good time on the board for qualifying. Oh, he's got some lag going on again. There was a few skips going on. Hopefully no issues. He's had some technical issues a fair bit in this series. I don't know whose car that actually crossed over to, I think. It's Coco Dog's car. You can see he's only got one headline, which I think has changed to two. He's actually fine. That is what I was mentioning. Once they take some front end damage, the headlight's going to be gone. It's not too much of an issue on this track. There are other tracks. Oh, and I think that was Corby who's managed to come through with taking second position away but in doing so he was right out pushing on that wall as he crosses the finish line you saw those sparks flying it will be quite nice to see as we get into the darker stints we're going to see all sorts of sparks from brakes and exhaust and also contact done very well and he's got that car out really quickly again to have another crack he's got a chance to get a couple more laps in Zero hasn't been able to prove me wrong getting to that 114 mark just yet and our championship leader Sami has been bumped right down into position 6 can he reclaim some positions in these next two laps that he should be able to fit in Wavens in the pits. He's currently qualified in seventh position. Cliff doing well with a 116.878. Is this an improvement? Not an improvement on that time. Also, DG in ninth. He's actually just come out of the pits. They're going to have to make sure they don't turn in early. Is they going to cop a group place penalty? No one has done that so far. Here's Kakadu come through for 117.560. A bit of lag going on with his car as well. 
cars jittering about the track a fair bit. This looks like he may be driving under control, I'm sure what's going on. I see he's actually fighting some damage and the car is trying to steer off to one direction. He's compensating, I am not sure what's going on. is currently in 13th. Did see a bit of an incident where he had a big inside pass. Well, that's just cost him some big time where he's made contact with Weave and I think he may have had claim to the apex but he doesn't make an improvement on his time there. So that is it for qualifying. There is 90 seconds left to get last laps in. Zero will have time to get one more lap in. See if he can break that 114 mark. As Corby's brought the car in. It's up to Sami and as a normal to be able to try and reclaim a position. And Sami, I think, a little bit off pace there, so he's brought that car in. And normal being able to get through. Gallon still on track as well. He hasn't got a time on the board yet. Hopefully, this is a golden lap for him. It's 40 seconds remaining. He's got time to be able to steal in a very strong time. As a normal doesn't improve it, Gallon does a brilliant time coming in at fifth position. Well done to Gallon. It's playing. And a demon effects as he downshifts for that corner. And then and that is it. So they've all wrapped up the qualifying for race two for round three. When we have a 0 143 taking pole position again. And then we have Corby starting in position two, Sami in three, followed by Ezanomal, Gallon, Darksider, Demon Effects, Weaven, Mickliff, DG. Bertie, Coco Dog, Kakadu, Simo Simzel, D Train, and Whacked Will. And luckily, we had had no grid place penalties, so all drivers now getting the hang of that exit line. So it will be a very good race. So we have difference in time. So a zero setting a 115.089, and we have D Train setting a 118.115. And we didn't have Whacked Will be able to get a time on the board, so he's why he's starting at 16th position. And we are heading off ready for the second race of tonight. Game session time is now 8 pm. Acceleration of time is t still times two. Expected the race will go for about 40 minutes. Means we'll see 80 minutes. Simulated time progress, so it will get darker. Getting a lot of ambient lights going on there with all the cars with their lights on. We had Sami get away to a very good start in race one, and the same as Azuro. Azuro had to take a defensive position pretty quickly because Sami managed to recover a fair few positions. We had seen Corby actually nudging right at the countdown as it was getting ready to go green, but then dawdled out getting off to a delayed start, seeing Galen get balked and having to actually get on the brakes and avoid shunting Corby's car at the start. seem to have been a very clean start in race one. I'm hoping we get to see the same again. But don't be shy in our chat. Be sure to let us know who you think is going to win this. Will we see a repeat for a zero? When we take a double pole, double win for round three. We go. We are now ready to start race two for round three of Long Beach Street Circuit. 
and we are green. Away we go, and it's a good start by Sami again. Already ducking up in between, so he's now in between Azura and. and what's Corby? Corby has snuck back, and as Anomal is weaving around, Galen's now ducked up into position two. So Sami is dropping a few positions. He's now back down into fourth position. Oh, there's been some contact. Darkside has gone off. There's a fair bit of chaos going on. Darkseid has now dropped all the way back. He was wedged onto that wall and I think some cars trying to get around may have made some rear contact. But Zero has gotten away pretty clean. Oh, and Sami has also fallen back, same as Gallon. So I think they end up getting caught up into the incident with... Yes, that's a big hit for Gallon. He's having some trouble there. That car's taking a big hit, same with Sami. That's unfortunate, so it looks like Gallon's just retired that car. Yeah, so, so Gallon is disconnected in the end as well. Oh, and there's some very fierce fighting here going with Corby. Corby goes for an outside line looking for a switch back on the hairpin. Brilliant textbook move. Moving out to that very outside line and allowing for the inside. Oh, but there's a little bit of contact going along pitch straight. Corby's going to have the outside line, but Azuro is going to beat him to the apex. So he now owns that track position. A little bit of contact, a little bit of a rub. That is okay, but Corby manages to fly back in. That's not a penalty situation. Azuro isn't going to be able to be getting a victory here without a fight this time. Last race, he didn't have anyone in front of him, so he managed to just get that start and get ahead, where now he's going to have to work for it. Which is very exciting to see some change up front. We have Ezanomal in third position. You can see him just coming around the corner there, and also Mick Cliff is in fourth position. DJ is in fifth, followed by Weaven in sixth. Lost one car already on the lap one, unfortunate for Gallon. The same as Sami and Darksider. This is going to be an opportunity for Weaven now to try and reclaim some points to take the lead back for the championship if he can finish strong here, well ahead of Sami. This is where the big points are up for grabs. Zero. To go for another attempt at Corby. Now, pretty on par for times. Corby's last lap though was a 117.6 and a 0 118.231. So, not the usual race pace for a 0. It's a little bit out of how he he likes to strongly perform once he gets out ahead and has no stresses behind him in the start. Really putting down that consistent pace to be able to climb ahead and then that's when he becomes very dangerous and starts to get well and truly ahead of the rest of the field. If Corby can manage to do the same on a zero start pushing that lead out however it's a mandatory pit requirement here anything can change over the course of these 25 laps and then pit strategies are going to come into play at least these soft tyres here are going to last a fair bit longer so I'm expecting a lot of pits probably to happen around lap 15 I dare say they would be looking to be able to swap out some rubber at that stage Zero usually likes to pit on the second last lap, however he's going to have to be fighting this car a lot more and trying to dig even deeper to try and cover this ground and get past Corby. That strategy probably isn't going to benefit him at all, so he's going to actually have to consider getting in for some fresh tyres a lot earlier. This is going to really put those tyres through their paces. Well, and there's been an incident, so DJ's just spun out. He's 
down the back there. We just had a bunch of cars go past. He's got time to get that car around. Sami is coming up behind him. So can he get around? Oh, yeah. Cameraman wants to catch up to him. Oh, and he's just done an outside pass. Oh, Sami's car is very bruised and battered. I don't think he's been in for the pits. Kakadu's head into the pits. But Sami is out there half destroyed car and it's performing really well so well done to um, still being able to manage to get that car around so we've lost two cars now dark side has quit the session Be interesting just to see what happened that first lap as he went in the corner. I'm not sure if Darksider may have been nudged into the corner or if he actually... Oh, that's been a mistake by Corby, so it's allowed a zero to actually get past. Corby's recovered pretty well considering the strength of the hit into that outside wall. So it's zero. He is not in the clear yet. Still is feeling some pressure from Corby. Corby is really quick around this track. I've driven with Corby on this track. He's very quick. Also kind enough to share a setup with me that he had his for this track in. Which is a real blitz of a setup. He's very good at tuning these cars down to suit the conditions. Oh, he's having some issues with his car at the moment. A little bit of oversteer coming through that corner. Let's manage to slip away and that is not what he wants to do with a zero. Zero to get into his element where he can just zone in and actually further that lead. Once he can push this out to about two and a half seconds, I think he's potentially going to be able to say goodbye to Corby in that mirror and it'll just be him out there. Very nice line around turn 11. That's brilliant hairpin. Starting to push this time out more significantly now. I think by another half a lap he's going to have that to two and a half seconds over Corby. Oh, a bit of a nudge. I think that was Waven getting tapped. I'm not sure who that is. That was a green car. Is that some lap traffic? It's Kakadu. Kakadu did have to go into the pits. So a little bit of a tail tap by Kakadu. Was breaking in and Kaku was a lot quicker going into that corner. Oh, and he goes for an outside pass for turn one. He's going to have to hold on a little bit more. There's not going to be any. Oh, there's a big incident. So that I'm not. Sure. I think that was Birdie just ahead. Or is it DG's car? Oh, and it's also Kakadu and Weaver taking contact. I think that was DG's car that spun out that caused them to make contact. I'm sure that wasn't maybe a bit dirty, this car. I'm trying to see where he is in relation to these guys. I mean... Oops. No, so just had Weaven have to retire that car, so he's brought it into the pits. We have lost a couple cars, that's unfortunate. Weaven just needed to ensure he finished ahead of Sami. All that's required now is for Sami to finish the race. Cacti is into the pits, that was a big spill between those two. Very strong drivers copying the brunt of a few incidents tonight. Long Beach, Long Beach claim a few casualties already. We've seen three drop. 
Zero is really getting that lead out. So he's now got that lead to three seconds. He's going to continue that lead quite quickly now. That's a trait we tend to see. I'm not sure if he's actually swapping from high to low beam at different sections of the track. We have Ezanomal following behind second position by six seconds. Yeah, bit of spacing starting to go on now. Cliff is currently in fourth position. And behind him is Demon Effects. I think Demon Effects has lost the headlights. He's taken some front end damage. I think that's Sun. It's tucking behind him, but he is a lap down. Catching back up, Coco Dog's heading into the pits. Not sure if he's taken damage or if he's just deciding to make an early pit. His car's looking reasonably okay. Good to see a lapped car starting to look at passing some other cars. Sami's so passing demon effects. get wrapped up in having a back marker pass him, especially if Demon's got some front end damage, looks like he's got some front left suspension damage, so that car's not going to be up to scratch, so he's probably going to try and push that car out for at least another five or six laps if it's not doing too well. That way he can at least hold it at bay until that damage trip hit, swap out some fresh rubber and then get the repairs sorted. He hasn't peeled off here. We just had as a normal Let's try and catch up. Oh he's taken some big damage as well. Kakadu is just coming out. I know that's Simo Simsel in the same colour green car. He's had some damage as well. There's, there's a normal just into the pits now. So just fix those lights on him. Tire change. We have McCliff now has moved up into 4th position. Whacked Will is in 5th position. TG. That was a 0 when it did cross. So now, DG. A bit of too much throttle coming out of that turn. Almost put it into a spin, but he was recovered. Sami still down in 10th position, and he is passing all the other cars, so he's trying to unlap himself. Get some timings. Sami has taken a 10 second time infringement penalty. He's probably been into the pits potentially, so usually copying a time second penalty like that, usually from speeding in pit lane. Seven is now heading to the pits. A little bit earlier than probably expected. Dropping some positions there. Oh, DJ's gone around. He's stuck on that wall. He's going to have to remain there for a little while before getting out. Didn't block any traffic, so it was just lucky. Zero get around more easily, okay. I think that's Bertie just looking in the background behind him. Yes, that is Bertie falling behind. It's also a lap down. Colby's re-entered after that pit stop at fifth position. We have Whacked Wheel in fourth position. He does need to pit. Cliff is now running in third. He does need to pit also. We're seeing some big pit laps. So a minute 30 for that lap for the pits. Then that is also just crossing the line. So the following lap is going to be lengthy as well. We'll keep an eye on those times just to see how long it's taking to have a pit service done. that lead out. 
Gatton is now leading by 22 seconds. Whacked wheels just peeled off into the pits now as well. We have Corby reclaim some positions. It's looking at about 23. Thirty-five second pit stop by the looks of things. And then we just had a zero peel off into the pits now. That'll see Demon Effects fly past. He's got some time. He doesn't need to pit yet. Got enough time to get around, get the lead of the race. He's going to pit now as well. I don't know if that was anticipated or not, or if that was because he did have a little bit of oversteer. That is D-Train, that's just tucked in behind him. No, that is Midcliff, so Midcliff has also peeled off into the pits. I don't know much of teams, we have Azuro, Demon Effects, and Midcliff all in the pits. Azuro is heading out, so he'll maintain that race lead. A fair bit before Corby catches up, no, I think Corby could just sneak out ahead. Where is the zero? Is this going to be coming out? No, he's gotten out in time, so he maintains that lead. Checked by Nick Cliff four or five times, and then was the meat and the sandwich between him and Kaka when we saw that incident, which um, we did cross to as it occurred. So that is the outcome of that. So it will be an interesting one to review in the replays. So be sure to head over to our Facebook page, and if you haven't done, if you do have Facebook, be sure to hit that follow button to be able to see our incident reports. If you aren't aware, we do also have an Android app on the Google Play Store. You can actually get the links to all our results and standings from there, and also information on being able to join in on our events. There's also chat features and things in there if you want to get in there and talk all things sim racing and involve with some of our drivers as well. Oh, contact by Corby two times. There will be some fatigue starting to set in on these drivers. This is the state that we had them in at the end of race one tonight. 13 laps around here is quite gruelling. And they've got another 11 laps to go yet. And we have... Luckily for Sami, even retiring out of the race, oh, he's disconnected as well. He's probably going to miss out on some points on the board. That's a good opportunity for Sami now to try and at least keep that lead on the championship. So he's got to be cautious of Corby and Demon Effects, who are going to finish quite strongly in this race. So I think there's a good opportunity here for them to actually possibly take a change in the championship lead. Just another reason to ensure you hit that follow button so you can stay up to date with getting our results next week as we lead into round four and also our Facebook page so you can see those results and standings as they get posted. Sami's so doing well with his car at the moment. He's got a little ways to go. He's got as an normal just up ahead and does have that time second penalty of 10 seconds. Got to be able to get ahead and 
then further that lead by 10 seconds to ensure he can actually maintain that position. That's not a zero. That's not a zero. There he is. Leading by 4 seconds. 9 laps remain. Zero is going to be in his element out the front with a nice 4 second lead over Corby going to be facing too much pressure. Cars that we have lost so far, we saw Gallant get disconnected. Darksider did the lead and then we've lost Weaven as well. A little bit of Direction there by Mick Cliff. He's really pushing it for 30. Mick Cliff was lining himself up for an inside move, but he didn't have enough speed to be able to get in. But he was quite late breaking in. He had a lot quicker pace on approach into turn one. Definitely closing in on him a lot quicker through those sections. Oh, I think that's Simo or Kakadu in the background. That was Kakadu making some heavy wall contact. And the cliff is looking to make a move on Bertie very shortly. I find all oh, a mistake made by Birdie, so that's allowed Mick Cliff to get around. And as a normal as well, that is a big hit. That's very costly for Bertie. There's Sami behind him, who's he's not a lot down there. Oh, Bertie, I think, is peeling off into the pits. I don't know if he's already pit yet. Yeah, he's got some heavy suspension damage going on there. That car is in big trouble. That was of benefit to Sami, who we did see fall back down into position 15 off on lap one. And he is, was a lap down. And he's now recovered up into sixth position. And he has pit. And he there is Mick Cliff and as a normal who to get past the two of them it's only seven seconds of Kakadu I think that was taking another hit that no, might be yeah it was Kakadu he's having some issues with that car at the moment not sure if there's some lag going on as well it seems to be skipping about or if that's just the damage I think it's damage I think it looks like there's some heavy front left suspension damage. That car is actually trying to turn off to the left a little. He has had a headlight smashed out there. So that is damage since we saw him pit last. He hasn't decided to bring that car in. He's going to try and face it out. Kakadu is a lap down. So he's only on lap 17 here. I think he was a lap down when the incident happened between him and Weaven. Not sure what's going to go on there, whether that could be a penalty situation once it gets reviewed on the replays in the coming days. Demon effects currently behind the race leader by 31 seconds. His last lap was the quickest lap no, not the quickest lap out there. As a normal, it was a 116.892. The currently Demon Effects has a lot more pace than our race leaders. The zero is saying 117.536 and Corby a 17.633. So, a very good pace being set. Demon Effects again coming through for 117.094. Over another six laps, 
being 30 seconds down, it's not going to be enough to try and reclaim a position. Hunting these guys down. He's only four seconds behind as a normal at this stage. Oh, we had another car drop out. And it looks like a retirement. They haven't left the session. Not sure who it is that we did just lose. Starting to close this gap on a zero. Looks like a zero is making a few mistakes. There was a few sparks just ahead as we crossed over. It looks like he'd made some wall contact. And there is prone to be some driver errors going on here. A little bit of lag going on from Corby as well. It could be dangerous. We saw an incident occur with Corby last week at Rapuna Park because of some lag. goes on with a lag affected incident but I think Azuro is in trouble here there is five laps remaining Colby is putting down some very good pace here the beautiful sights of all the amusement parks around here at Long Beach this is California. Oh, mis oh no, that was a mistake by Corby, but it's lag. You can see just how the lag affects. We're seeing a fair few jumps. And we we're seeing he just made wall contact, but he hasn't. Yeah, that is lag. It's going to be a dangerous situation once he starts looking at needing to get past zero. We could potentially both end up in an incident. They're not going to be actually really truly aware of each other's position on track. I do recommend all our drivers to actually run the multiplayer names to always be shown. It can be a bit annoying seeing their names above, but it does show their ping, so you can at least see just how much lag they're experiencing. Know how much space to give between yourself when you are tucking in right behind the car and then also making a pass. So, where you think you're actually going quicker than them and you go to make a passing move, you can then estimate that they're probably not in that position. Try and pick a different situation unless you see that ping really drop and then go for a move. The Long Beach has claimed four cars so far. Army has done a brilliant recovery up into the fifth position. Needs to be ahead of Demon Effects and Corby. But sitting in fifth or fourth position won't be too bad. Corby's still lagging all over the place. But he's really honing down that time difference between him and Azuro got Simo Simsel peeling off into the pits as well. Uh, it's whacked wheel that we've lost, so he's sitting in the pits there. That is his car in the background. He's retired. He hasn't left the session. Drivers that do retire will actually still get points on the board if they hang out until the end of the session. Don't forget to use those sound effect controls to cheer on your favourite drivers. Let me know if you think a zero will be able to keep Corby at bay for these remaining couple of laps. It's going to be a very stressful couple of laps for a zero, seeing Corby close in very quickly. Be 
these two were fighting for it at the start of the race and then they split out a fair bit and then they are back at it for these last couple of laps it's not going to be an easy win for Azuro Azuro's made a couple of mistakes here Azuro's last lap at 118.9 Corby goes for an outside move he's just got that nose in ahead it's going to be very interesting line he's going to have to try and squeeze a zero out and reclaim that track position he's done so Ooh, a zero is going to be cautious here he is seeing what we are seeing with Corby's car jittering about the track Corby swerves around to try and break that stream advantage so Corby is now our race leader but it's not over yet. Azuro is flying up with that slipstream, tries to go for a slingshot move with an inside line. It's not going to be enough. He's going to have to tuck that car in. He's done so very tight, hot on the tail of Corby's car. This is going to be a spectacular finish between these two. We're lap 24 of 25. This time around, we'll see the white flag being waved. Will Corby be able to push that lead out? He's almost got it out to a second now. Azuro is slipping behind. We did see Azuro pit a little bit earlier than expected. As I was mentioning, he's probably really had to scrub those tyres out, fighting with Corby at the start of the race. Oh, and he's made a big accident. Azuro has put it into the wall. So a little bit too much throttle coming out of that corner, then just pushed him right across the other side so this is a guarantee for Corby now unless he does a mistake much the same Azero will be safe for a position 2 as Demon FX is well behind by another 35 seconds this will be Corby's race white flag shown as he's crossed the line the final lap for the race two of round three. This could be a big opportunity for Corby to actually take the championship lead. Sami is sitting back in fifth position. The difference between these two guys was 24 points. This is the big point, so 60 points up for grabs for Corby wrapping up on this lap. And Zero has taken a fair bit of damage, he's really dropping back in time now, so he's now 8 seconds behind Corby. The rest of the field is fairly well split as a normal. And Demon effects are contesting each other here as well on last lap. Corby's about to wrap up last lap as normal gets around Demon FX. Demon's got no headlights, he's got some significant damage to that car. It could be an opportunity for Sami to also get ahead, but I don't think it'll be enough. Corby's wrapped up the race, taking the top of the podium with a victory in race two for round three. Azuro finishes on the podium, still in position two. As a normal is now going up in third position. 60 seconds remaining to get this last laps done. And Sami is getting around Demon FX, but he's going to have half a lap to try and get 10 seconds over him. I don't think it's going to be enough. It's not even half a lap, it's not going to be 10 seconds. Demon's going to reclaim this position as long as he can tuck him behind him here. He's going to get this position back away from so Sami having a position stolen yet again. As in third, Sami wraps up in fourth, but then Demon Effects pushes. To, oh, and even Mick Cliff just got in ahead as well. So taking fifth position because of the 10 second time penalty by Sami. So that is unfortunate. So some positions dropped right at the end. And then we have it, Corby387 at the top of the podium. Congratulations, taking first position, followed by a zero.
in second, as normal in third, Demon FX follows in fourth position, McCliff, Sami, Coco Dog, D Train, and Kakadu in ninth, Simo Simzel in tenth, DG in eleventh, Bertie in twelfth, Whacked Wheel retired on lap sixteen, remained uh, behind to finish in position 13 so we've lost Gallon, Darksider and Weaven. It's unfortunate to have lost those guys right at the well, probably actually quite early on in this. So a very exciting race tonight. So we'll be having next is round four. I'm just going to make sure I save the replay for this as it's going to be rather exciting. So next week we have round four of the five round series. And then we are heading to circuit with the America's GP. So it's going to be a very exciting race to watch. So make sure to hit that follow button so you do get notified when we do go live. It will be 7.30pm Australian Eastern Daylight Time. Um, next week for round four and then the following week is Bathurst Mount Panorama which will be very exciting be sure to check out our Facebook page you can keep up to date with the results and read those incident reports and see what happened with the big spill with Weaven in race one and also in race two it'll be an interesting one to check out so thanks for tuning in and watching our guys race around here and as I said don't forget to hit that follow button we appreciate the support thanks and we'll see you next week